There we go. Sort of. Hello. How are you? Expos being a butthead tonight. It'll settle down in a few minutes. <clears throat> I hope you can hear me okay. So what's the plan for tonight? Uh, it's going to be a shorter stream than usual. So those watching the VOD uh, will be like, why are you doing that same quest again? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play the same quest that I played on yesterday's show. Uh, but I'm going to play it a very different way. Sort of the same and sort of different. Okay, a uh, bit of the same, bit of difference. I'm still be gonna, still going to be playing a melee character. So the archers that we had problems with last night are still going to be a problem. However, I want to see how more readily doable this quest is if you cheese it. Um, that is to say, I'll be playing on my max level Warf- um, not Warforged, Jesus. Um, <clears throat> this is my PDK Pally that I use Strim Tom's PDK Pally build on. Uh, let me go find that build. Because really fascinated- I love playing, uh, I love playing, uh, Pally, so in case you didn't know this. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. well, it's not in my list of builds, uh, that I saved from Strim's list. However, I will go find uh, Paladin. Um, -da 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 -da. Uh, that's a first life charisma pally. Nope. PDK Vanguard Paladin. Uh, pure Paladin using Purple Dragonite for access to Bastard Sword while shield bashing. Uh, also, if you didn't know me, I love Sword and Board as well. I like two-handed fighting. I also like Sword and Board. I also like dual wielding. Um, DDO is not very melee friendly. So here's the build this character uses. However, the main difference between yesterday with Bladeforged uh, Paladin and this PDK Paladin uh, is, well, firstly, this character has a shield, so it can actively block, so that's kind of nice. Um, <clears throat> well, it can better actively block, I should say, because anybody can block just by holding the shift key. Um, the other main difference is we're not going to have that super sexy heal all the time uh, that I use to great effect. I won't. The shield guardian won't be able to heal me with their repair spell. Um, but the main difference and why I'm calling this cheesing it, we'll see how well we do, is the fact that this character is level 32, which means I have access to all of my level 30 uh, and 32 uh, hirelings. So we're going to have Alvareth, we're going to have the Shield Guardian at 30, we're going to have um, the Feywild Muse for extra reses as necessary, but the best part, and this is probably, like, people who probably watched that show yesterday were like, wh what? We're going to have a level 30 rogue with us, so um, we're going to have Frago help save our bacon, especially in a few places like that one spot with all the traps that kept flinging me around the creation. So, we're going to have fun with that. <clears throat> so, hopefully this won't take as long as uh, going through the quest yesterday. Also, because of the fact that I'm now a little bit more familiar with it. Because of having played it. It's, you know, kind of fresh in my memory. I do have the, um, the walkthrough that I had yesterday. Um... Um, let me make sure I have, yes, I have your quest. I think, yeah, you're the one that's got the quest, so, alright. So, also, it's not going to take five years to go find where the quest is. <clears throat> I'm hopeful this will go a lot better than yesterday on this character, um, for this sheer and simple fact of, um, I ran the Rayum quest with this character yesterday, off stream, and wrecked face in it. Rayum was a pushover. For a level 32 with full uh, level 30 hires. Just saying. So we're going to go, first of all, we're going to go look uh, for our, see if we can get another copy of the Dynastic Polkata. I probably should have, yeah, I sh oh my god. You know what, I'm actually going to go sell first because holy crap. Because uh, as you can tell, I've been kind of screwing around with this character a little bit. You know, got a, two dust carts just from hitting that one rare. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go clean bags first. Hang on. I could just ride right back down here. I forgot to do that. Sorry, my bad. Because I did run the Rayum quest. And it was a lot of fun, actually. Um, a lot more fun doing it over level, I'm gonna say. 
Because that quest was a is a terror. Rayum is a bitch to kill. Uh, unless you got the correct composition going on. Uh, not um, class composition. Just basically, if you prepare for it, it's not going to be quite so bad. But if you're unprepared for it, you're going to get your ass kicked. It's just what it is. That's what it is. Alright, Raph. Let's double check. Okay. Um... Corrosive Gloves of Heal. Again, we're, we're getting like old, old stuff. I don't need any of this crap. I'm going to save the dust cart because we can upgrade that. Uh, I'm going to save that because I don't know what that's for. I have to go look it up. All right. Sell them. Sell all that. All right. We're good. We are good. And this character actually has bigger bags. Put this up here. Put that up there. Put this over there. So we're still going to need... I should go to the bank. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bank real quick. That's good, because the bank's like right over here. <clears throat> so I expect to have a way easier time in this quest, simply because Frogo will be able to uh, detect all the crap that we need to detect and disable all of the trap boxes and shit. Okay. Let, yeah, and I still, okay. Let's just put all this crap in here. Boop. Boop. It's bound to me, so I can't do anything with it. Except I could put it in my purse in a wall. Let's go there. Why do I have one of these? I should probably equip something that has insightful charisma, but you know. <sighs> Feather falling. Okay. Um, wait a minute. I already have one. <laughs> it's like right there. Duh. <laughs> Right now, I am prepping for my eventual departure from Wayfinder with this particular character. Um, the other main reason why I want... Whoops, I forgot to do something. The other main reason why I am still farming these quests is because I need... Oh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Uh, desert sand crystals. I have 34 of them. I need a total of 100. Um... So I'm probably going to spend this week um, shotgunning probably the Rayum quest because that's so far been the easiest of the, of the lot. But the, on the other hand, um, if we do well tonight on this quest, um, I'll probably add that to the rotation throughout this week because I want to farm the mats that I need. Uh, to upgrade the Fulcata, because that's what I did last night, is I upgraded the, um, the regular level 10 Fulcata, which is the basis of that other build, for the Bladeforge, and, um, I upgraded it to Epic last night, because I had 50 of the Desert Sand Crystals, uh, and now I have 34 left over, but the Epic to Legendary upgrade, uh, will eventually take 100 more Crystals, plus, um, Five um, thingies. Five star fragments. And so what I'm also planning to do this week when I'm not gaming with somebody else uh, because they are actually um, on vacation. They'll be back uh, sometime this week. I, I don't Crystals remember. Crystals surge skyward through the sand, creating a dramatic spectacle. And... Once they come back, I mean, obviously, when they're available to game, I want to game with them. Because it's fun gaming with friends. Alright. Are you up? No, you're not up. Gosh darn it. Fine. Excuse me! I'm not going to bother with all the other rares up here. I'm going to get the one that we're going to pass by. That's close to, um, what's-his-face's tomb. So I don't want to take too, too long on this, and I know other people can clear blaze through these quests a hell of a lot faster than I can, but we're going over there to the Burning City. We're going to go do that quest one more time, and I and I was thinking I was just going to do it on my own, right? I was like, oh, I should probably do it on my own in case I embarrass myself again. Um, but I don't, honestly, I'm not too fussed about em embarrassing myself on stream. I do that a lot, and I don't really care, right? I'm not too fussed about it.
Ooh, the bloodstone. Hello. That'd be nice. Oh, hi. Are you still fighting? Are you still fighting me? Are you trying to fight me, eternal wizard? There you go. You die. So I'm actually pretty happy with that Blade Forge Paladin build. I think um, when I get that character to the level 30 and start gaming, like the times when my friend and I want to game on this server, because we do, um, <clears throat> is um we're gonna have I, I think i'll enjoy playing that that blade forge paladin with him uh, i want to go this way if i recall correctly oops excuse me pardon me come through scooching through here So this is actually the road you get there, and this is actually the submerged road. This if you is one of two locations in so if you go underwater, you can coast. actually see the Your actual, you know, the road still going. remember how I got from here. Hey, 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 stop it. Wait, where did I miss my turn? So you definitely come over here and go this way. Oh, stop it. So I think you actually keep following the road go over here and go up and around. This was not the way. Oopsie doodle. Made a boo boo. So we'll hear the Feral Crystal Sword chat Visitors chatter while we're doing the things. To reach the well defended burning city. So from my understanding is Standing Stone or, you know, Turbine actually back in the day lost information on who this voice actor is. Like you can in even in Isle of Dread Quest you can hear one of the OG voice actors reading quest lines. But this guy, I think <clears throat> as somebody that they don't know who it is and it's really fascinating that they don't they don't know if he's still alive or if they can hire him excuse me pardon me come through leave me alone it's pretty fascinating that you can actually just ignore these guys if you're you know so over level so if everybody had a good Sunday, I worked a full shift today. Excuse me. Seriously. Uh, caused some chaos, had some trouble, you know, fixed some problems. Okay, we're gonna do this on Epic Elite because we want the maximum amount of rewards out of it. <clears throat> All right, let's summon the dudes. Do I want to scarecrow? 
I think I'll go with teal. Then the Muse for Rezzas, and then Rago for Shenanigans. So one of the problems we had yesterday was that we never did get back to that second shrine. So Frago is already showing his value here. He's like, shit's about to happen. So let's see if we can have him find it. Alright, he found a trap box. Sweet. Let's have him sort the trap box. Was there two of them? Nope, apparently he's gonna get the door now, though. Alright, let's go. The burning city of the Fireworks rises before you. I need to hit the things because you know I don't get XP. So one thing I do have is I have a few uh, cakes on me, and that's because this character had cakes, um, but they are not the best cakes ever. Um, so we'll see how it goes. are acting up. So the thing I want to be cautious about here is making sure that I have my hires with me instead of running away like that because it's not so helpful. Alright. Let's see if Frago detect... Well, Frago isn't seeing anything right now. As expected, I'm doing good damage against these guys. Um, one thing I should note, by the way, just uh, to take a look at my build real quick. Charisma, Strength, uh, Con are my big things. Got some Wisdom. Um, this is a two past life character. So good times there. Um, and it looks like I need to... Look at my whispers and uh, ban somebody. Um. And also report their whispers as spam. Actually, phishing. Alright, spam, scams, and bots. All of the above. Off it goes. Bye bye. Block that user. Fuck off. <laughs> Anywho, let's get back to the actual quest here where Teal doesn't know what the hell he's doing. That's okay. So, this character is more powerful than the one I was playing because it's four levels higher and. Alright. Okay, they're not active. Now we are active. Let's kill them all. So my goal is to actually farm up the mats that I need for the alt to upgrade the Dynastic Volcata from Epic to Legendary uh, before I transfer her off. But of course right now nobody can transfer anyhow. Transfers are disabled in all of DDO. Uh, we don't know why, they just are. Probably some shit happened. Something broke and they turn it off to avoid any further damage until they can figure it out. Transfers have been a problem for a while now in this game. 
Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. This is definitely not a quest I'd want to do on Hardcore League. <laughs> Never, ever, ever. Even over level, is you know, cheesing it like I, w I would not want to do this on Hardcore at all. We do need to free some slaves. Wait, no, no, those guys. Oh god, I love flaming spears. Not. Apparently, our hires are having fun with them, and that's fine. Um, also, let me go ahead and remember to do this. about is to use my shield charge because I don't want to yeet myself off of the, the cliffs. Alright, we want the key. Thank you. Give me key. Seriously, I'm just gonna die out. Whatever. Thank you. We need 16 slaves to save before things. Okay, one thing you also want to do is like up here you fall in the lava, there's supposed to be a door that you, there it is, that portal keep an eye on where you are versus that portal because if you fall in the lava that you may be able to swim to the portal and actually get to it before you die <clears throat> I learned that by reading the wiki surprise alright, let's go back to where we were um, one thing I would really, 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 really love if somebody actually made a proper map for this quest. The one on the wiki is not useful. The flow chart that somebody put on the wiki, brilliant, so good, very helpful. Okay, let's go back to the first locked door. Hi, Thief Kitty. My kitty cat would like to say hello, everybody. Alright, let's get my hires up in here. Because there are traps. Get the conjurer down. Some air might actually be up for me. Okay, we got a door here, we got a door there. I love those flaming spheres. All right, let's go. So went through lock door number one. We gotta go to intersection number three. We're gonna go in here. Thiefy says hi to everybody. Okay, we're gonna save somebody. Of blood and rusted iron. The dwarf above the cook fire looks like the next main course. Hi, uh, we're gonna use bluff. The thing is, you don't actually have to do this, but you get a chest for it, so might as well. As long as you got uh, good trapping skills and can uh, open the chest, help the tiger roast you alive. They are. Is he supposed to come back? Or actually, I'm waiting on somebody else to come back. There we go. Give me your key, give me your key. Alright, you get that stolen treasury key if you don't have trapping skills. This is definitely a question you want trapping skills, I'm just saying. An on level trapper. Alright, it's, it's yellow. <laughs> 
And after I'm done streaming here tonight, I'm gonna go finish dinging a level cap in Lotro on my Lonely Mountain Band captain. And then I'm gonna go watch my, uh, my acquaintance Thad. So this is also a quest that you want fire resist stuff. You also want range stuff. Because I can't really do much with the archers, but I can go up and kick their asses once I can jump up here. And that's really half of the battle right there. Being able to jump up there and knock them down. But getting up there without dying is the question. Again, I'm choosing this on a much higher level character. Um, give me a key, sir. Um, there's a chest up here. Let's let the kobold free. They'll tell the other kobolds about me. One thing about the kobolds, speaking of the kobolds, five desert sand crystals! Hello! That's what I'm looking for. I need a total of... 100, we have 30, how many? We have 30, we have 26. Oh, this character has 26. Um, we already have 30 in the bank, 34, so 26. So we're doing okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's get you on out. So we got all the slaves freed. Uh, again, we gotta keep track of that. Oh, bastards. Alright, let's go back in here. Okay, so we have the key that we needed. Now we can go back to the OG locked room. One close to the original entrance. Yeah, I think it's back there. Let's continue on our way. There we are. One thing I want to make sure of is that I always have, uh, what's his face nearby? Okay, got some of the touch key. Came went across, got the thing. Um,. Make sure we have, so we have two Burning City keys. Um, we have used one. Okay, so we're good. And of course there's traps. Oh, Frogo. Well, I'm gonna have to run through because apparently nobody's able to do this. Well, Frago is here. Frago, find the thing. There we go. Now, if I had like a, a ranged character, these would be way easier to do. We just shoot the archers. Okay, so this one is one that I need Frogo back here for. Get back here. Get him over here.
Okay, Frago, go find the trap boxes. So, Frago's not finding trap boxes. Just some inexplicable reason. There's supposed to be a thing on the floor that you're supposed to be able to find. Let's bring him here. Alright. Frago detects danger. He's not doing that great, I'm not gonna lie. Should be another one for the air jets. got it. Do I need to use the shrine right here? Um, if I regret it, I'll come back for it. Alright. Here's the next intersection, and we want to get to the treasury, which again, you can open if you have a knock thing, uh, or the appropriate skills. So kill those guys. I'm gonna save the slave. Thank you. So this one would be bad enough on its own, but having the archers up above makes it super uh Also having um a fear of heights is not good. There you go, got you. Got you. Okay. Ow. Stop it. I think we eventually go this way. Oh, no, there's a locked door. So the treasury's back here. Oh, danger. Hello, danger. <laughs> And that's also another thing to deal with hires is they will run back and attack things in the past behind you. I do not like this OSHA violation part of the class for sure. Alright. 
think there's a couple of slaves back here. There's that. Oop. And boop. They're just chatting. They're just chilling. Thank you for freeing you. Alright, get out of here. So we have the key for this. And there's many ways in. Nothing special that you need to do to unlock this door. Just go in and get the chest and get the hell out of here. Oh man, one thing I need to remember is to pop one of these before I go. I, I, I forgot to do that because that chest, uh, four of the six chests in this particular quest have the chance to drop named loot. Unfortunately, this was one of them. Alright, so at least we got our pot for the rest of the rest of our party. Let's keep on going. I'll see if he howls in the background. Okay. Alright, let's look over this way. Let's get back to the locked door we were at. One, one downside of using the, um... The flowchart is the simple fact that the flowchart doesn't really take the map into account. It just takes you from waypoint to waypoint, pretty much. Alright, go through, bring everybody in. And of course, there's traps. Frago, gonna find me some traps. Trap box. Go get him. Go get him, champ. Yes, there they are. Alright, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Well, that's not what we're looking for. Well, I don't think we're coming back this way, so let's go in here and see what damage we've got. More dudes to kill. the door. Thiefy! What are you doing? Alright, we need to go up here I first. Muffled howls and, the and I do know there are traps here. Alright, I'm going to set them all on defensive instead of active. Because <clears throat> I think there's blade traps up here. Oh well, just walk up the middle, it's fine. <laughs> All right, Frog, go find the things. Was that trap box back here? There it is. Yeah, is this a little gonna show danger? Nope, it's good. All right, let's go get us a key. Everybody else is waiting outside. That's fine. Again, this one has dudes up top. I just want the key. And the slave to save. Oh, hey. Look at that. I'm gonna come back here. Chill out. Get somebody to do the lever. Frago. Somebody do the damn lever. There we go. Shield guardian for the win. Shield guardian not for the win.
Seriously, get your asses over here and say. box here. Well, let's get that one too. Alright. We did what we needed to do. Let's get out of here. Everybody follow me. Okay, so we got our key. We got the lever. We go back to the intersection and take the other path. Let's go in here and get that. Oop. And now we can go this way. already like halfway through the quest only been here 45 minutes isn't this amazing haven't died yet <laughs> yet to being the operative word there's still some good boss fights coming up all right good job good job okay danger i remember this one Okay. This one is a have frog go find things. Go. Come on, you are the worst sometimes. Okay, he got those. Those count too? Yeah, looks like he got them. Alright, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Because I could. <coughs> okay. This terrace of the burning city is not as oppressively hot as Hello, below. I found a weapon. The most powerful which, of course, epic level weapons are generally heights. not worth the while. <laughs> Unless they're supposed to be off hands. One thing I actually don't really do in DDO, I probably should do more often, is play a dual wielder. There you guys go. Screw you! Oh, there's a slave down there. I missed the slave. Good job, Druid. Alright, we're gonna go down there and uh, rescue the slave. Because it'll make it quicker. Get out. Okay, we haven't gone through here yet. Um, try and remember. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's bring lay traps. We did that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, came through the locked door. I forget if we're supposed to go this way or that way. 
Okay, this a one. Yeah, this is the Minotaur. Minotaur stands behind a crude forge. He looks alarmed by your approach. Does he serve the firebrands by choice? I don't. Okay, so I see where we are. Okay, let's go talk to him. Let's bring everybody in. Is everybody in here? Yeah, everybody's in here. All right, let's save his bacon. I do know what I'm risking. free what's our blessing there we go nice chest and we got a boost and we get no stuff that's just have been my luck with the uh loot boosts um the elixirs of discovery i tend to use them and get fuck all when i use them and then i get all kinds of stuff when i'm not actually trying to use them which is bizarre all right let's get the slave in here Let's see, is there anybody over here? No. Alright, let's go back across the bridge, back up the stairs, back up the thingies. Okay. So the walkthrough on the wiki can be useful, but part of the problem with it is it really, really, really needs work. Probably also really old, too. Alright, here we go. Let's in here. Alright. Next locked door should be coming up soon. So there's the locked door. And so we're coming into intersection seven. One thing this character doesn't have that the other one does is an ability to do multiple cleaves. The other one had like Exalted Smite and stuff. This one really does that. It has Exalted Smite actually. But it doesn't have like um, the, the AoEs that the other character had. So. Okay. So we found our intersection. And so we're on intersection 7 or 8. <coughs> so we're across the crooked bridge. Open lock door number 4. Uh, head north. Ignore the path heading east. So Heading north is this way, so we're going to ignore that path for now. Um, go this way. Oh, the P path east has the drawbridge of doom, which, you know, was a problem from last time. Cross two more bridges, free one slave, watch out for the spike and fire traps. Oh, is this that one? Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Yeah, all of these. I think I can get him to actually fix it. I need to get out of here. Okay, we got them. We got them. Let's see if this still has the air one. No, that took care of all of them. Sweet. Man, this is a hell of a lot easier than it was last time. How many times did I die getting across that bridge or trying to get in here? Everybody get in here. Get in here. Destroy those guys. Holy shit, that was way easier. I want to double check. Do I have... I do have a remove curse. Sweet, and I need that later on in the quest. There we go. 
so this is pretty much how doing this quest on um, the regular on level difficulty um, when you actually have a party who knows what the hell they're doing and I wouldn't claim to know what I'm doing but I'm doing a hell of a lot better just because I'm cheesing <laughs> all right go through here rude those guys need to die all right we're under here I'm gonna give myself some heals can't be danger will Robinson get that guy so there's danger here looking for is there a slave hiding back I thought there was a slave hiding back here apparently not okay is it one hiding there is it one hiding there all right let's go I need to free one more slave. Hold still, chat. Get in here, Frago. One of the things I'm really hating is the fact that it keeps hitting the things. Where? All right. Oh, that's a that's a trap. It's a trap. Fago's not finding anything, so I'm just gonna run through the hell of it. Well, that wasn't what I wanted him to do, but hey, whatever. Whatever works. Uh, here's a locked door. I do want to actually get to that last shrine. So it says to ignore the locked door, because um, we want to go sort out the shrine. Though to be fair, if this is the last locked door, then we're pretty much close to the end of the quest. So let's just keep going. Except I don't have a key for it. Is this the library? This is the library. Where did I miss a key? I missed a key a ways back is what I did. Or it's this way. Okay, section eight revisited. Okay. Slave that, yeah, there's a slave up here. It will give me the, the royal key that I need. And I got the key that I need. Alright, let's go this way and murder some dudes. I'm not going to worry about any other slaves because I don't need them for what I have here. Oh yeah, yeah, the lever for the bridge is in here. I haven't even gotten to the bridge, so. Okay, so there's the bridge below me. Bridge is down, so I can get to the shrine from here. Look here. I think there's just a slave up here. No, there's just a collectible. Alright, let's just hop on back down here. Correctly, this is where we get the last key. Get out of the way. 
the Yippers. How dare you kill yourself? Alright, these guys. Am I actually considering removing the VOD for the other stream? Because that was so. Oh my god, that was so. I was getting so salty. <laughs> and I can't open this Frogo. Hello, Frogo. Get your ass in here. Frogo, come here. Unlock the thing. I'm gonna get in here. Give me named loot! Name loot or go home. Fuck. I bet I got crystals. Hey, crystals! Oh, since you're here, I'll let you go. Pray to the host for my safety. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so now we can go to the locked door and actually get through this time. Ooh. Except is the locked door this way? Yes, it is. Hello, enslaved human. Hi. Aw, we'll let you free too. Okay. This arcane library reeks of malice and despair. Malice the and despair, huh? at a low table unaware of your arrival. Okay, so I had a little bit of hilarity um, when I did this on the other character because the other character had immunity to blindness. Okay, so I took on his blindness, but apparently I also have immunity to blindness. So this works out very well. Isn't there supposed to be a chest in here? Or maybe it's up higher after you kill the ogre mages. Apparently somebody's having fun with them. Already. How dare you start the fun without me. Okay, there's no chest... For Arath, is there? Aerith's library should have a chest in here. Isn't that supposed to be like back here somewhere? Oh, we're still, oh, we're still killing mages. Apparently, we're still killing mages. Hang on. This does not look like a library. So we missed a mage. Oh, here he is. Hi. Okay, now we can free this guy. Remember to search the secret chamber. What is there, a secret chamber back here? There's one right there. Oh, that's the chest. That must be it. All right. Big money, no whammies. <sighs> but you're not, man. But you're not, I say. All right. Well, let's keep going because we're just about to the end of the quest, which is also going to be the end of the stream. Now let's go kill these guys because they're pissing me off. <laughs> As you can see, there are other slaves down there if you want to get them all, it's like Pokemon. But you only need 16 of them to get the Firebrand Key, which is what you need to get into the end room. Let's not need ourselves off the bridge, shall we? Alright, I'm not going to worry about, actually, um, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to go in, we're going to fight the bad guys, and of course there's danger. Because we're idiots. Ow. There we 
you go. Get him. Okay, looks like everybody's in this room. I didn't need that. Let's do this. So the end fight is going to be rougher than the stuff we've been doing so far, by far. Anything down here? No? Oh, okay, let's go. We'll see how many, uh, whoops. This character also has much better uh, ledge and jumping abilities than the one that was playing you the other day. I'm on fire. Wait for the last tick. Go check chat real quick. It's a quiet night. You have ascended to the peak. Of hey! The General Hu Bai. Mayor Rashad must be close at hand. There be danger, Will Robinson. Danger. I think there's actually a thing where if you open the door, it pushes you back. Okay, so let me first of all buff up. Death Ward. Uh, you're gonna give me. You're gonna give me blur. Displacement. I'm gonna give yourself displacement. Give yourself shield. Give yourself blur. Give me blur. It's all good. Let's go. See if I can get this door. There we go. Hey! Get everybody in. Fight! Uh, I definitely want to go for the busier. I went for the, the the fighty dude first last time, and yeah, it was not good times. So I'm gonna go for the busier to get the spellcaster down. Conjure. And of course, I'm much more powerful than I was last time, and my hires are not dead. <laughs> that was part of the problem. Is like we didn't get the shrine. Everybody was dead. It was not a good time. So this is going way easier than it did last night. And you're toast. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Alright. Get the thing. Yay, we did the thing. Now let's open the goodies. And of course, this is an epic chest, so it should hopefully have some good shit in it. Theoretically. <sighs> Not a maze piece of loot out of the entire quest. Even with one of these on. Not that, but this. Holy shit. That sucks. But I got 19 desert sand crystals, which is really good. Uh, which is what I was here for. I got all the chests in the quest, also what I was here for. So let's go take a look here in a minute to see what we've got um, overall. And because we've been in the quest the long enough, the desert is it should have the reset from the burning city. my thing. So we're going to ride out and go loot the chests in those places. So, quickest way out of here. Where are we? Oh my gosh. 
Uh, quickest way is to get back that away. We're gonna hop. Ooh, we're gonna hop down here. PDK on a flying horse! Oh my god! <laughs> and we'll just ride out of the valley. So that was a lot easier to cheese it. But again, it always is easier to cheese it. And I think that's uh, one of the things that a lot of folks like to do. Like if they got tons of past lives, they'll, they'll do that. They cheese content so quickly to get through it. Like traps don't matter to characters with a lot of past lives. Um, I mean, there's ju it's just a whole different ball game to play on a high level character. Um, or on a character that's like super powerful compared to what you're doing. Um, in this case, the main difference was having a trapper, um, and also being four levels above where I was last time, so good times. I'm going to go see if, uh, the what, what's his face is up, and see if I get another legendary, or a, I'm sorry, a non-legendary uh, thing. Actually, I want to go to, remember, I th were they talking about? Doing a legendary sands. Crystals surge skyward through the sands, creating a dramatic spectacle. I don't remember. I, I can't remember if it's a player request or Standing Stone actually committed to making a legendary version in the producer letter. I'll have to go take a look at it real quick once we recall out. And you're not there, so let's recall. <clears throat> Let me go find the producer letter. Leo producer letter. There it is. So I think they were going to do a legendary version of something, and I don't think it was Sans. Um, no, it looks like Joam. Is that how you say it? Or Joam? But that's in like the fall. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The sad thing is that I love Taylor to bits and bits and bits. She's awesome. And I'm going to get her cannoli at PAX East next month. I was not a huge fan of the producer letter. It was very... Yay, I've got 200 total favor. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played a lot with this character, honestly. Um, delete that. Okay, let's go turn in our quests to what's-his-face over here. Alright. And it doesn't matter what we pick, honestly. I can't believe we did it! I can, because we were stupidly OP for the quest. <clears throat> Two of the three flags for the raid on this character. So it might behoove me to do the last one, but that quest is kind of like, eh, do I wanna? Do I wanna? No. Wait, bank. That's where I wanted to go. And then I think we'll call it a stream. Get up here. Hello, Mr. Banker. Okay, let's put my stuff into storage. All right, let's see where we are. Ninety-five. Oh my god. Ninety-five. Just five more, and I'm done with that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
However, I'm going to do that off stream. Uh, because what I'll wind up doing is I'll just run the quest again. Um, or actually start the Rayum quest. The Rayum quest you get through your first chest pretty quickly. Um, and then go from there. Because all I need is five and then I'm out. And the Rayum quest is... Actually, this quest was not that difficult the way I was prepared this time around. Again, understanding that I'm cheesing it, overpowered. Just having the full range of on or above level hires made the difference. Um, so yeah, that was good times. So I will talk to y'all later. Uh, I will be back streaming on the official DDO channel on Thursday. I will be on the official Locher channel on Friday. And then Saturday afternoon, I will be uh, right here. Uh, I don't know what I'll be playing. We'll find out. Uh, anyway, be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. I will talk to you later. Yes, this is supposed to be a super short stream. Because I just wanted to do this quest to post it on here so I don't look like a complete out of buffoon. Yeah. Mm. Anywho, I'll talk to you later. Bye now.